Hey guys, this is just going to be an add-on to a movie or to a show I'm going to be doing later on. Uh, this is what I mean about them sliding right through Genesis 1, 26 and 27 and then kind of glossing over Genesis 2, 7. Watch how they do this because I'm trying to share with people that there's two creations, all right? Revelations talks about a man that's created on the sixth day. That's Revelations 13, 18. And then you have another um, um, uh, that this speaks about Genesis chapter 1, verse 26 and 27, about the man that's created on the sixth day. But they don't watch how they run through this. Be very clear that you have a man that's created in an image of God on the sixth day of creation in Genesis 1, 26 and 27. And then there's another man that's created from the dust of the earth and has the breath of life breathed into his nostrils. And this is where they really try screwing you and stuff, man, because they're not sharing this. Watch how they roll through these. Really? Sorry about that. First, in Genesis 1.26, God creates humans. Then on And that's a lie. In Genesis 1.26, it says exactly, God created, uh, then God said, let us make mankind in our image and in our likeness. To roll over the fish in the sea, the birds in the air, the cattle of the land, and everything that creeps upon the face of the earth. Morning, uh, he, he saw that it was good. Morning and evening pass, and it's the sixth day of creation. Okay? God, this is all what's going on in Genesis 1.26. Now watch what they do. And on Genesis 1.28, 30, he grants them dominion over the animal and plant kingdoms. Just what I read, I gave you all of the scriptures. I read from 26 all the way to 30 for you. Next, in Genesis 2, 8, he placed... Boom. See, he jumps right by Genesis 2, 8, and he says that he places man in the garden. But, check it out, man. Here, might as well do it. I'm gonna go ahead. I got a show getting ready to go for you guys right up here, too. But we're going to jump over here into, give me a second, let's see. Genesis chapter 2, verse 7, Bible Hub. See, so they're not telling you about the second man here. They're trying to gloss right over it again. And it says here, and then the Lord God formed man from the dust of the ground and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life, and the man became a living soul, or a living being. This one here is not the same one that's created in Genesis uh, 1, 26 and 27. So we have two different creations, and real quick, we'll go ahead and we'll hit this one here real quick too, and make this one short. Uh, Revelations chapter 13, verse 18, Bible Hub. Love you guys, by the way. Okay, real quick. See, on the sixth day of creation, this is what this parable is talking about. And this parable says, here's a call for wisdom. Let the one with insight calculate the number of the beast, for it's the number of a man, and his number is 666. This is specifically talking about the beast of the field that's created in Genesis 125. The man that's created, that's given dominion over the beast of the field. This man here was permitted to breathe into the beast, as it tells us in Revelation 13, 15. Anyways, I'm going to upload this, make it a quick little short. Everybody, much love. I hope you're having a wonderful day. God bless you. Not the one of this realm, but the supreme, omnipotent truth, the living one, the full presence. Peace.